day zero of EDC Las Vegas. We are packing, prepping, getting everything ready to go. We're gonna take Callie to her hotel. And I'm so sad. I'm gonna miss my dog so much. It's like literally impossible for me to go anywhere without just thinking about her 24 seven. So it's gonna be rough, but I'm gonna try to just let go this weekend, know she's in good hands and know that I'll see my daughter next week. So it's okay. We are packing right now and I clean the house. This is Callie's stuff that we're bringing. I clean the sink. I have cleaned the counters. I've cleaned the oven, the blanket it's on the couch are washed. I have two packages I need to ship out. Luckily, I got two orders on my different platforms, Pretty Pixie and Depop, before I left for vacation because then they would have had to wait till next week and I'm happy I could get it out to them as soon as possible. But yeah, this is like all Seb stuff, so he's ready to go. We are really good and I feel like we pack beforehand now. Like we used to pack like day we were leaving. Now we pack like a day or two in advance. So everything's been like set and organized for a while. This is my toiletry bag on top of everything else I have. I'm literally crazy. I pack so much stuff for just like a what, five or six day trip. So yeah, my room is nice and clean. Look at this. It looks so good. I cannot wait to come back home to it later. But I washed everything. I washed my sheets. I washed my comforter, even though the comforter got totally messed up. I literally don't know what happened. And I washed my pillowcases. So we are gonna have a clean bed to come home to. And then this is my luggage. I just feel so prepped and organized. I have my cute little cowboy hat that I'm probably not gonna wear day three. I feel like I'm just not gonna wanna be on a hat vibe, but you never know, you never know. So we're bringing it just in case. Mrs. May. I'm going to miss you so much. I love you so much. Are you ready to go see your friends? She doesn't like when we leave. She knows we're about to leave. Thank you, Baba. Seb wants gummy breakfast. You've never had these? Look at all the candy. So this is like Mexican candy? Yeah. Yum. Okay, so they have sugar-free options, but I'm trying to stay away from sugar-free, so I'm not gonna get them. So what's it gonna do? It's gonna. I don't know. It's gonna. So far, the great gypsy at your service. Listen carefully. It is better to keep your mouth shut and be thought a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. And also, my friend, it is wise to be taking good advice when you hear it, no? Return to Zoltar, and I will give you more words of wisdom. Your fortune is mine for the telling, and yours for the hearing. So Come that's your Zoltar fortune? Zoltar tell you more. We're this doing intention. mine. Take it from me, the great Zoltar. Intending shall get you nowhere, but doing. Yes, that will bring you much, much reward. And I will provide you with the depths of wisdom. <laughs> We're having way too much fun. Alright, let's see. What a joy to look ahead to read into the signs of your future. So much happiness is in store for you that most brilliantly lighted stars will be put to shame by the brightness of your life. My first lucky number is 11, and my birthday is 11-11. I have it tattooed on me, and this is accurate, so I'm excited. Let's gamble with these numbers, yeah? First look. This is the first little look at the room and it's literally adorable. I thought it was gonna be like low-key old vibes. This, it's it's low-key old vibes. I'm sure the bathroom is gonna make me upset, but I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than this. Okay, this is, stop, that's so, what do you mean? What do you mean we have a prison sink? Okay, this has won me over. Hello, darling. Yeah, this might be a little dingy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Babe, We're just sleeping here. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> we love to see it. Bougie, 
bitches, okay? We're bougie. Oh, is that mold, bitch? Let's be so for real. That's literally mold. <laughs> okay, snack number one is Eddie World. So we went to Eddie World. This was because Sebastian recommended it, and it was like, honestly- you, Eddie. <laughs> it's honestly <laughs> awesome. And it's like, I guess, midway in between like California and Vegas. And these are Chipotle Lime non-GMO. It made sure to specify that, toasted corn. So basically corn nuts, chili lime flavor, and we're really excited for this. The second snack. This actually, if you watched my Beyond Wonderland vlog a few months ago, we got free Sour Patch at the VIP section. So we got a whole bag of them <laughs> for the weekend because I don't know, they're just really good during rave weekend and when you're lit, sometimes you just want some sour candy. It really hits the spot in a different way. So we are gonna be eating Sour Punch straws. Love that. Snack number three, the Healthy Queen had to still show up on the trip. I like to eat these early in the morning before I have coffee because I feel like it's been helping my hormones lately. It's been giving me more energy and my skin is staying like clearer. So I have like a handful of almonds every morning before coffee. Cajun pistachios, that actually Sorry. sounds really fire. We had Cajun chicken, we got fries, we got pizza. Like we literally did the most tonight. But we've been having so much fun. We've been making stops everywhere. You guys just saw we went to that like fortune teller thing. That was so cool. Like we're having so much fun already and EDC has even started so love that we've never had this many snacks seb also got two other chips but they're not that interesting so i guess we don't have to show them i completely forgot about these i'm so excited chocolate covered espresso beans i'm so excited we got a whole bag we just tried it for the first time last weekend and now we have a whole bag of them so i'm really excited i must have power crunch on hand for a quick snack a quick breakfast i got the french vanilla cream peanut butter cream and chocolate peanut butter flavor peanut butter fudge really really good i love these and they don't have any fake sugar in them because i'm really trying to stay away from sugar free lately we have a fridge we have our water bottles being stacked in we have beers we have more water and look at this Beatbox, shout out to you. We love you guys so much. This is literally the only alcohol I will drink right now. Go get yourself some Beatbox right now. They're My, so fucking good. They're so good. My favorite is the hard tea. They didn't have it at the store we went to, so we're gonna try to get those in the festival on Saturday. First flavor we're trying Ooh, of Beatbox. It's a nice red. We have never tried the fruit punch. We've tried like every other flavor, so I'm really excited to try this. Look at that, was I a bartender in another life? I think so. Mm. Interesting. It's very light. I like that. This is actually delicious. Dude, I that's, think this is my favorite flavor. That's probably up there. I told with you. Tea. So we're gonna be sipping on this. I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. I think we're gonna gamble. Maybe not. And if we do, it'll be like 20 bucks. So this is our lunchbox pack. Yeah. Seb has had one with like the sling one that goes around here. He's had that one for like a year now, two years, and we love it. And then lunchbox reached out and wanted to send us this. We're obsessed. We got to pick out like a skin. So we got like a trippy looking skin. We got the light sky so it flashes. So at the rave, it's gonna be like. Mm, it's gonna be like going crazy. It's gonna be so. Wait, how bad? It's just like so quality. Like, look at the actual like thing that you drink water out of. Like, it's just like quality. Like, this is no Dude, cheapy. The bag is like white, and then it has the skin. It has the black detailing. I'll have to see where all the pockets are, but there's basically like a million safe pockets for your phone and stuff like that. I'm also not sponsored, you guys. Like, I sound like I'm doing an ad. Like, no, I'm just shouting at these like literally amazing brands. Everybody knows Lunchbox and Beatbox. Let's be real. Up here is where you go in. You have like a nice little pouch. So I'm gonna put my shoes in there tomorrow because I'm wearing platforms, which just in case I need my sneakers. I'm gonna put sneakers in here. Okay, so we like to put our phone in these. It's like really hard to get it out. Nobody's grabbing your stuff. This is the sling pack. Super sleek, cute. If you just want to be like stylish, you know. Early the next morning. ADC day one. We are gonna go get some coffee right now. I'm honestly really tired. Didn't get a lot of good sleep last night. But we're gonna get coffee and wake my ass up. I am trying the egg white grill muffin from Chick-fil-A. It looks really good. So grilled chicken, egg whites, cheese on an English muffin. It's only like under 300 calories, I think. Also got Starbucks, needed some caffeine. I feel like I'm starting to get a migraine, so I'm gonna take some Medis, make sure I'm good to go. This is nothing worse than having a migraine on rape day. But this is so good. This is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I needed some fruit, but I'm so looking forward to tonight. Tonight is like said the sky, Grizz. Emo night is tonight at 3 a.m. Said the sky is during the fireworks at 1.35. Grizz is at midnight. There's a lot of other good people, but they're clashing. Like David Guetta, 
might miss him i don't know cream i really want to see cream champagne drip memba arm and hammer yetep there's a lot of good people tonight and that's just day one duke dumont infected mushroom metric b2b graphics is tomorrow 9 30. Ugh. I'm so excited. So this is the final hair and makeup. Kind of threw the hair together last minute, but I really wanted to do like something with the rings in the hair. And I feel like it's just simple, it's comfy, it's a look, and I can still enjoy my night being cute, but not like too crazily overdone, you know? Sometimes like the gems annoy the crap out of me, honestly. Yeah, so this is a look. I will be getting in my outfit shortly, but I'm not gonna do that until like we're about to leave, and then I will show you guys my outfit for tonight day one i think it's one of my favorites it matches seb really well so <laughs>
you next day. Good morning, everybody. Today is day two of EDC. A little rundown, because I want to do like a little recap of my days, you know? I just had some chocolate covered espresso beans this morning and fruit, and I feel like pretty alive and good. So it's good, because I can't have coffee right now. I can, I just don't really have anywhere to get it in the hotel, and I don't really want to go drive anywhere. I know Seb doesn't want to either, so. I don't really know what we're gonna do for coffee this morning, because I need some caffeine, but I do feel like very rested and very healthy this weekend so far. Um, yesterday was actually insane. Um, so I got ready. Everything's like really hectic day one. Day one just, it has some weird curse. Let's start there, but that's for everybody. Like we've come to the realization that we just need to pretty much like chill, walk around, like have a beatbox, like not try to go too hard, too crazy, like party hard on day one ever. Cause it's just logistics need to get figured out. People need to get comfortable. There's always like a lot of pickpocketers day one. I feel like unless day two, I could be totally wrong on that obviously, but I feel like just horror stories. Thank God we've never been pickpocketed. It makes me so sad for the people that have. Seb was just reading a Reddit post and the guy just took his friend to a rave for the first time. So it was his first rave ever and he got everything stolen. ID, phone, money, like whatever the fuck, everything. And it was the worst experience ever. And it just makes me so sad because sometimes those things happen, you have to be really prepared and you can't just like leave shit in your pocket. Like it's kind of sucks that you have to be on guard all the time. It was interesting to say the least, it always is beautiful beautiful stages there's like five new stages that are so nice so the aesthetics of it beautiful so i got ready early we left to get there around like three and then we ended up like actually getting to the shuttle stop because we were like walking around we stopped at the store at like 3 30 we were the first ones there we had to wait in the scalding hot sun it's literally almost 100 degrees here right now with passing like random thunderstorms and stuff the weather's crazy right now weather like this has not been present at edc in a really long time or like ever because there's also rain with it so this is the hottest EDC like all through the night. It's warm like you don't need a jacket You don't need pants. You don't need anything and if you guys remember previous years in 2019 It was literally Antarctica the fact that you could just literally walk around and whatever makes it so amazing So yeah, we get there we wait in the really hot Sun um, I literally almost passed out because we were drinking caffeine alcohol and water and Pedialyte So I feel like just everything was mixing and like I literally thought I was gonna like pass out for a second They got on the shuttle bus everything was great with that we walked right on we were on the opening side ceremony shuttles so Seb specifically bought with our shuttles opening ceremony and it's like five dollars it's nothing crazy but you get to go to the opening ceremony which is from five to seven and then the actual festival opens at 7 p.m so you know we are expecting to get there maybe around 5 36 go to cosmic meadow where they have the opening ceremony and then they open the rest of the festival for you but i don't know if it was just like a weird thing because i think it only happened to like some of us there was a few shuttles that got dropped off where you usually get dropped off which is not cosmic meadow it's on the other side it's by kinetic field which is the main stage and so they dropped us off there and there was just like hundreds of us we were just all stuck waiting there for like almost two hours actually probably a little bit less so that was a little bit crazy and then um we walked into the festival and we decided to stop at the merch booth in vip and we couldn't really like see the stuff because we got in line so quick but it still takes forever merch lines take forever we were so excited to get this tank top i really wanted said was going to get like a hat or a cool t-shirt or he was hoping to see like Grizz merch. We waited in line for like a solid hour. I missed my opportunity to take like a daytime picture because my nighttime pictures are like super blurry. EDC is crazy. I didn't get the best pictures. Who cares? It happens. And then we get up there and there's like nothing there that we wanted. So we like waited in the line to get into EDC outside for like almost two hours. And then we waited in a merch line for another hour for nothing. And then I forget what we did after that, honestly. But we were just kind of like defeated at that point just exhaustion because we also waited for 30 minutes in this like hot sun to Longer. get onto the shuttle Longer so it was 30 minutes it was like 45 almost an hour yeah it was like it almost was an hour shrinking. but and we just we had such a busy day before that too that doesn't include the errands we ran the food we got the friends we had to meet up with like literally we did so much yesterday that by the time we like were done with that merge situation it was probably like 8 30 or something it was just it was not a vibe and so we just kind of like chilled and had some caffeine and a beatbox and watched Grizz which was amazing Grizz was so good I was vibing I was like literally sober the whole night like it doesn't really do much to you when you're like dancing and sweating it out and we just had like one beatbox each so it was a little lit for a second but then we pretty much sobered up but it was so much fun Grizz was so good oh yeah I miss said this guy so I'm really sad but it's okay I saw his whole set at escape Halloween a few months ago and I like filmed it and everything so it's okay ended up leaving around 3 a.m. that's when the first shuttle takes you back to your hotels like you're only allowed to leave from three o'clock 
a.m. Yeah, we came back. Luckily, we're staying at our shuttle stop, so it's so convenient. We don't have to walk miles down the road. We don't have to get an Uber. Like, we just walk right to our room, so it's been really convenient. But randomly, we'll come home and there's these giant locusts or something? Moth. Or moths in our room. And so we literally put, there's like a little crack on our door. We put like clothes to like close it off because I guess they're coming from like outside or they're coming to the vent. I have no idea. Giant. Like these are Las Vegas moths. So, like this is not some little cute like moth. Like this is freaking giant. <laughs> like it, it's scary. They buzz. Like it's actually frightening. So Seb has gotten rid, gotten rid. We put them back to safety. We just put them back outside the hall. We have not killed three or four of them at this point in our room. So that's been kind of crazy. Rio is not for the bougie bitches. This is for the convenience of staying at our shuttle stop, but it's kind of questionable. But Palm's Place definitely has my heart. I know there's so many other hotels we want to stay at. It's just sometimes the prices are crazy and you can't justify it. Like I'm just sleeping there. I'm not going for an entire Vegas experience. So like, what's the point of spending like thousands of dollars per person? Like sometimes resorts world for EDC, which is so cool. We really want to do that, but it's like so expensive. So we'll see, maybe we could do that one year, but being really good their money these days. I wear my platforms, never doing that again to EDC. That's all, also another thing, which I was just wearing for the fit pretty much to get a picture and then change into my vans. I'll never do that again because the terrain at EDC is like kind of crazy too. It's not like flat like the NOS Center or anything. It's kind of crazy in VIP. So the actual like stuff in VIP was pretty cool. There was good food. There's Korean corn dogs. I really want to try it, one of those. Um, So I'm probably going to get one. It's nice to walk up to the front of the stage. We've never been able to do that. I mean, that's the coolest part of VIP. So we're going to let loose a little bit for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> Who's ready to live it up under the electric sky?
next day. Hello, hello. It is day three. Your girl is actually exhausted and it's just hitting me now after getting ready. I'm sorry, I wanted to do so many more like get ready with me's and like be a little more proactive with my vlogging. I feel like it's been so hectic and busy. Sometimes I'm queen of vlogging and sometimes I'm just like the absolute worst. So, so this is my final look for day three. Just very simple, keeping it comfy because honestly, as cute as the eye gems are, they just annoy me so much throughout the night. My hair gets caught in them. So we're doing a little glitter highlight moment. A classic look and just my regular makeup and then I'm just gonna do like a light pinky lip closer to when we're gonna leave so that it like stays on more for pictures and stuff when we get there yesterday was fucking amazing we're gonna make the best of today it's gonna be such a good day I cannot believe how fast this weekend flew I am very excited in less than 48 hours I get to see Mrs. Callie Mae so very excited but also really sad that it's coming to a close but I feel like as I grow up the more I just like appreciate the experience and I don't get really upset when I leave actually a lot of times I don't have post rave depression I have post rave euphoria lately I call it I don't really know it's like I actually feel like I'm getting something out of it instead of just like feeling sad that it's over like, I feel like I really appreciate I really pick the raves that I want to go to these days which I don't know if I told the vlog yet but we actually canceled our hard summer plans we were so sure we were gonna go to hard summer but the lineup just wasn't hitting for us this year and it looks like they're not doing shuttles and and just driving, parking in LA, Ubering would be crazy expensive and just like not worth it for like maybe a handful of people we wanted to see that we've already seen before so it just it wasn't appealing to us as much as we thought last year's lineup was way better in our opinion it was more like our style of music so oh well shit happens we didn't get to go last year but we are still planning on going to nocturnal so we're gonna do like a whole nocturnal camping experience really excited for that i love me some socal raves and i'm gonna miss vegas i love raving in vegas it's been hot it has been awesome throughout the night you don't need a jacket like you can literally just kind of go out and be comfy and that's just so different from the last few years so i'm very very happy about that but yeah yesterday was absolutely amazing it was me seb and edith seb and edith just bring the best vibes and we all just literally mobbed all night together and met really nice people and just so many negative nellies online like i remember being really upset when 2019 edc came around and it was freezing cold because i was like you're kidding like why did we move it back to may like i didn't get it at the time because i was like i'd rather have a hot edc let's go but obviously it's for health reasons it's for pretty much health reasons and for weather issues so people aren't passing out left and right um so I totally get that it's the way to go especially if you're gonna do camp you have to do it in may not when it's blazing hot in june i remember specifically being kind of negative about that in 2019 which i had a great year so it's like you don't even need to express all your negative feelings 24 7 you know i feel like i kind of learned from that moment on like just go with the flow and you don't need to complain about everything you don't need to find a problem in everything you don't need to put down others experiences like i feel like so many people online are like i would never go to edc like what the hell it's so crowded like what the food is 80 dollars no i don't know what that is but that's not the food is literally like 10 to 20 dollars max for like a meal i just like people are like running with these narratives of how like shitty edc is and i don't know if it's just because people kind of have it out for insomniac right now some of them i don't know like just, everyone's really negative sometimes the rave community is like really stressful it's like just go have a good time like you don't need to think so deep into it it's just a music festival like just literally have a good time be nice to others help others and get lit it doesn't have to be this negative thing and like every little problem somebody has they're like talking about it online it's like we ran into a lot of problems on day one and we just got over it moved on day two was amazing literally best day we went on a ride we really haven't been on any really in the last few years so that was really fun we're gonna try to go on more tonight because we get vip like fast pass lines so you can like literally cut to the front so so cool i would definitely want to go on more rides tonight and we are going to see a lot of djs we were chilling last night at my favorite freaking set that i wanted to see for so long metric b2b graphics and i was like oh my god i think that's blank and i love blank his remix of walk me home is like literally one of my favorite songs and i was like i think that's blank and i just like didn't say anything because i was like they could just be like another guy it's like i don't know like exactly what he looks like totally and so i 
like looked on the insomniac app and like looked at his photo and i was like that's literally him i took note that he had a nose ring and i was like okay if he has a nose ring that was blank and it was and it was so cool so i was like standing behind him the whole time and truly he's like I really enjoy his music. I've been wanting to see a set from him for a very long time. So that was really, really cool. It was just pure vibes and good times. And we have one more day in Vegas. Tomorrow we're staying through Monday and then we leave super early Tuesday morning. Day three fit. Pretty freaking cute. Got the little bell bottoms going. Matching top. This set is from Zally. Got it like a while ago, but I don't know if they still have it for sale or not, but I think it's the cutest thing ever. And they have like another color. I changed into my silver holographic fanny pack because I was wearing a black one all weekend. And I just feel cute and so comfy. And surprisingly, day three, my feet do not hurt that bad. Like there's a little bit of pain from the platforms I wore the first day. I feel like I kind of like screwed up my feet a little bit then, but so much better than feet pain I've ever dealt with in the past. So, okay, okay, go off, cutie. <laughs> We're colorful today. EDC day three. We're gonna get lit and we're gonna get started.
looking after you tonight. Now sit with me while we go on this journey. Beyond the world three.
Yo, I got time for one more song. Y'all ready for this? Woo! Yo, if you know this shit, I need you to sing as loud as you can.